we coming into the year 2020 and already truck clown is already coming with the bull crap so before you guys say oh he wasn't talking about you or oh you with the bull crap or do the you hate and then blame game i want y'all to listen to this video and just tell me what y'all think this is a new video. It was posted on December 30th, 2019. I'm not going to show the video because of the person that's on the video. There's another person on the video and she don't, maybe she don't, maybe she do, but I'm just going to say she don't have anything to do with this, but just check it out and listen to it and I will go along as I play it. Yeah, I seen a dude comment on it. I got, I got to agree with him. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn it up like, for y'all. Quit, see, I'm like, for real. Mm. You gotta, I need you to stay humble, dog, and I don't feel like you're doing that. So let's talk about that. You gotta be humble, man. How you think we feel on you shaming? I think y'all, there's a Jordan seeing a black queen out here that, you know, didn't hustle out, started from the bottom, and she on the uh, Mariah. It's like, how can you, how can you hate on it? Seriously. Easy. It's not that hard. Like, how can you hate, though? <laughs> Seriously, like, man, I work. Just as hard, I do the same thing, run the same lanes and everything. So okay, how can it's you just going, it's downplay going, and downplay yeah, somebody that's out here doing the same thing you doing? Yeah, but see, uh, people may be doing the same thing you're doing, but they're not getting the outcome that you're getting. So, But that's the so, deal, though. How are they not? My deal is when everybody was out here showing big checks and saying this and then that, trucks yeah. running, trucks trucks already, you oh, know? Okay. It's sentencing already. So when okay, I I'll fast forward whatever, it. Uh, there were little minor adjustments that I see, and I talked to the jester. So I play, I mean, not a jester. I so you didn't buy a slave house. Okay, y'all heard that right. So what's going on is this lady, um, she bought a property, uh, a unit, an apartment unit complex, and um, congrats to her, even though we don't talk or do anything, or um, there was a situation with us in the past, but she bought her a unit, and... A unit, some kind of unit. I don't know enough information about it, but she's just going over about how she is already, um, she doesn't have to fix it up or whatever and how she obtained it. And he's supposed to be congratulating her on everything, but he can't just come through and just congratulate her on what she's doing without throwing shots at other YouTubers and this is how I know that he's talking, referring to us. Just keep listening to the video and you guys will see. What my question is, what does her property in Houston or wherever it's at, in somewhere in Texas, what does that have to do with Arkansas? Even though it sounds like she's going into real estate and real estate is very broad. You can stay with statewide or you can go um, cross country with it but majority of the time you start from a small area and start branching out but just listen to the rest of this video no this is a nice like, oh, heat of the night like, no absolutely not. i stuff. don't have the time to being that i'm on the road anyways like i don't have time to do uh -huh. a lot of renovations as it is anyways however i got two appraisals i got appraisal to tell me about what is the um Ray would be if I do the more um, do a little minor adjustments, and then I got another appraisal to tell me to do more investigations about what's going on in the community and everything. So the community is actually about to be a college that's built there. They're about to do it like in a mid, like a little mini downtown, mm -hmm. but it's going to be like a popping college area. So basically, you know, my property about to be Congrats. Real estate. I feel like it's. I got to ask you. So why would a person buy a slave house? Notice he raised his voice. He said, I, watch this. I got to ask you, since you're in real estate, why would a person buy a slave house with emphasis? Keep going. In a raggedy state, instead of coming downtown and, and dropping half a million or something dope, why would you think they would do that? Well, I know that a lot of people, um, hold on one second. Because you could have bought real estate in, let's say, Arkansas. Uh, notice he had to add more, he had to add more details because at this point she didn't look down into her phone. First she smirked a little bit and then she looked down into her phone because she did have some things going on within her phone, but she looked down like, dude, I don't have time for this messiness, but 
it could have been rehearsed and delayed. But now, since it's not enough details on the slave house, he has to add the state to it, too. Arkansas. Listen to it. Why ain't nobody in the state in Arkansas? Uh, no, I bought mine at, um... No, because she's on her phone in the middle of the trouble. <laughs> no, 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 it's, this is business. <laughs> okay, can, you, can you stop the business so we can handle this thing? <laughs> Listen. This is my business. Uh, so. first, first thing first, it took me Why like... Why did you buy something in Arkansas? Notice she said first things first it took me like she was about to continue to talk about her property and how she obtained it and... He's like, you didn't answer my question. If this is so important, this question is so important. He has to remind her like, no, before we move on, we need to answer this question first, which it sounds to him. Y'all know this dude. It sounds like all shade that he's he's putting uh, together. Hold on. Because I'm from Texas and I knew that I, my connections would be more um, prone here to Texas. I mean, it depends on the market. Now, I do know somebody that did buy, mm. they buy a community, though. They buy an, actually a whole subdivision. Mm. And him and his father getting together, and they are actually on their second house in the community. So, but I But you wouldn't buy a slave house in Arkansas. What is your definition of a slave house? What are you talking about? Shotgun house. Well, you know, there's people that actually buy that and they flip it, but then, you know, they, they're flipping the houses mm. where they can sell it. Mm. Now, honestly. Mm. <laughs> I mean, especially he <laughs> was a mess. Um, going back to what she was asking me, though, I would not be that I'm on the road, and that takes a lot of time management when it comes down to dealing with contractors. And my mm. realtor told me that dealing with your contractors, you got, I mean, you got to deal with contractors. I didn't. Can, can you stop with the phone? Okay, y'all noticed that he even took it to the extent where he's singing the slave songs and stuff. This is supposed to be a pro-black guy, right? Promoting black people. And he continues to throw shots at people. It is December 30th, 2019. This is what you are doing with your time right before the new year. You are supposed to be promoting this black female in uplifting her new closing or whatever on her property and she's trying to get out to you how she obtained it and everything and you just out of nowhere just randomly um is trying to direct the conversation into somebody not only buying a slave house but buying it in arkansas and to the extent this is supposed to be a professional question that he's asking her but why are you not taking it serious and you are if it was so serious you're singing slave songs because you are being petty you are being messy and I continue, well, if you continue to listen to this video, he will also go into uh, asking her, would she do some of the repairs? And she starts talking about contractors and she said no, which is her thing. Um, she said no, she would hire contractors to do everything because she doesn't have time because she's on the road, which... Do your thing. That's and I don't have anything as far as what she's doing. You know, I'm actually happy for her, even though we don't. I don't even. We don't even know each other right like that. But we did have a run in or whatever, which was squashed. What so long ago last year? It was so squashed so long ago last year. But this dude just has to keep bringing stuff up. You guys know that I. Um, we purchased this property in Arkansas last year. And yes, the house does look like a slave house. It does. But we have put so much money into this property, getting it together. And one thing about this, the, um, the reason why we chose this property, we already told you get that guys that, but the point is what, why are you continuing to make it your mission to, Go after somebody that left it alone. I planned on leaving all drama, everything behind in the year 2019. And it has been so long since we've had a run-in with this guy or whatever. And we pretty much squashed it. I listened to Jay. Jay told me to squash it and leave the dude alone. Uh, speaking of that, Guilty did a video, went live and was doing like Truckers Awards and everything. And if you guys know me... I'm usually in his comments going at him, going at, not guilty, but going at this guy 
and just like I just can't stand this dude but I left that all in 2019 a long time ago in 2019 and left the dude alone because Jason told me don't do don't say anything else to uh him leave the dude alone and whatever just let him be great but this dude that's been a while it's now the end of the year basically new year's pre new year's eve and you want to be funny and my thing is you've been in your truck living in your truck for going on what five years homeless since we want to throw shots but don't want to be direct you've been in your truck for five years without a place to stay you finally i don't know if it was because this female came into your life and sparked some uh get up and go action on you but now you are finally able to get you a little studio apartment and everything and you happy and everything seems to be going well for you and ain't nobody you know knocking that congrats but you ha you just can't do that without coming after somebody. You didn't see everybody in the trucking community know that we just bought this property and we've been fixing it up. What we choose to do with our money and our investments is our business. Why do you continue to make it your mission to make comments on it or, or try to bring, you always trying to bring other females into the conversation by asking them a little slick question like, what do you think about this? And it'll be a description of me me or another YouTuber. It's like, why can't you just move on with your life and mind your own business and stop hating? You're supposed to be a pro-black individual and you're supposed to have all this going on. You have over 75,000 subscribers, which you built up and worked for. You are supposed to be on a whole nother level coming into 2020 on a whole nother level. But how you close your year is by being messy and throwing shots at people and I promise I know you're gonna act innocent and your subscribers just they they're gonna back you on this or they're probably gonna call us some haters or whatever but this is clear you just you're just messy and a toxic individual and this is exactly why the things you do he will go after females or go after couples and let me tell you this is clearly the female behavior that I talk about with this dude this don't know real man throw continue to throw shots and uh do stuff like this try to bring other people into like validation uh for comments and stuff that he makes and act innocent but then when the stuff blows up or when a female partner blows up on him and starts cursing him out and telling him about himself because of a female move that he did he'll go into the pro black all i did was try to help you and build you up and now look you acting like a ghetto ratchet queen and all this stuff and I didn't do anything to you which clearly the do is messy and then he'll go into saying oh the you should have had your husband reach out to me you should have had the guy me reach out to me the reason why the guy will not reach out to you is because your behavior is very female-ish like you need how do you expect a man to reach out to you and talk to you on a man level when you are doing female things your approach your ways is only females do that stay into gossip and drama and you're clearly watching our videos seeing us working hard putting together a property and you're sitting back laughing and singing slave songs which honestly we all know everybody knows that we have good credit and everything we could easily go and swipe our car and have a full production brand new home built being built in Arkansas which is what we were going to do at first but the point is why are you watching our pockets and being that we are African Americans which you promote um you supposed to be on a pro-black regime mission why do you make it your mission to go after black people regardless why are you making it your mission why can't you just because it's all at the end of the day it's all fake the dude uses and he always talking about slavery and everything like that he's using that and it's bull crap because he's not practicing what he's preaching he's trying to act innocent but when you don't practice what you preach and really show support and you continue to try to bring a brother or sister down you are fake that makes you a hypocrite so put all that pro-black stuff to the side 
and ask yourself, why do you continue to hate on someone? Why do you continue to hate on other people? Why can't you just live your best life and live into live into celebrate your goals and your accomplishments and leave people alone without throwing shots? And why can't you just promote her and be proud of what she accomplished? And you just got to steer her off into some drama stuff. You have to put her into a situation and enter a year that might, where she may get caught in the crossfires because of something you're doing. And speaking of that, finally, Jason did reach out to him today and sent him a message because now it's getting to the point where it's like, we, it's, we clearly see what you're doing and there's nothing to talk about. There's no confusion. I don't know what you're talking about. So if Jason has to step to you from a man to a female, because that's what it clearly is, um, you need to just stop. We're just asking you to just back off and leave us alone. Stop throwing shades. Move on with whatever it is that you're doing in your life. Like, stop watching us. If you if you don't like us or negative and everybody watches your videos because you are the top YouTube, well, black YouTube trucker channel. So everybody watches the videos. It's pure entertainment. The stuff that you do, honestly, is is funny, but it's kind of sad at the same time, which I've already mentioned that. But if you're going to watch our videos, we know that you are a hater, clearly, but stop coming for us. Don't, don't mention it. Don't, don't mention it to other people because we clearly can see that, but we're not bringing this into 2020. We are past this drama, but I just wanted people to see that this dude is straight for the drama. If y'all don't think that this is about us, just watch and listen to the video. And if y'all know, put two and two together, it, he's clearly referring to us, but why he try to back it uh with some other bull crap so in my day back to my regularly scheduled programming